Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Anthology. Last time we helped some AC-130s as they attacked a group of tanks that was defending Cairo, and we provided an escort for C-5 galaxies that were ferrying additional troops and supplies into the region for us. So now, as, those, as this war slowly winds down, let's see what else we have left to do. Deal for the fire. Kibbert Air Base. Date October 2nd, local time, 2330 hours. Weather clear. Situation. Due to our campaign aimed at destroying the enemy's logistical support, many rebel forces are finding themselves without fuel for their machines. Mission objective. Your targets are four fuel tanks located outside of Cairo. Use the F-117 stealth to penetrate enemy air defenses and destroy the targets. Threat suppression data. Ground opposition. zz 234s Air opposition unknown. Alright, so it's another one of these, which we shouldn't even have to do. I feel like at this point in the uh, war, uh, we should just be able to waltz anywhere we want. I find it hard to believe the Rebels would have any reasonable amount of planes left at this stage. Alright, so let's head north for now, climb to uh, maximum altitude. I doubt we can just wait them out, that'd be nice, but... So there, there's a strategy to, uh... <laughs> Go park yourself at an airbase, wait, time compressed like four hours ahead until they've all crashed, and then... Come back. I'm sure someone's done that. But that's a little on the cheap side, although to be fair, this game's a little on the cheap side. The X-32 and F-22 have a higher RCS than the F-117, even though it should in no way have an, a higher RCS. Which, okay, balance reasons, fine, whatever. But, um... <laughs> you know, that that's just a thing games do. But even putting standoff weapons and flying at max altitude on the X-32, I was having difficulty trying to do this mission. In my best attempt, I was at 60,000 feet. They fired probably around 20 missiles at me, which all managed to miss. And then I had to dive in pretty hard actually to lock on to the fuel tanks and then release my standoff weapons from about 10 miles away. But um, but then they still had more radar guided missiles, which stop it. Which I don't know where they kept getting them because I know. Okay, there's plenty of aircraft here, we can see that, but <laughs> it was ridiculous. And also, just some the way some of those missiles were tracking, too. Like, they, those were the semi-active homing ones, and they would just tr turn so hard. <laughs> like, you couldn't believe that even... Like, I know missiles can pull a lot more Gs than an aircraft can, but I was having a hard time believing what they were doing. That and the fact that I don't think that... Uh, the AI should be able to pitch their nose straight up for, uh, you know, for an entire minute to keep that lock. Uh, oh well. This is the gimmick to force you to fly the F-117. Okay. So, there's the... Oh, that's not the fuel base. Then what is it? Because there's a hell of a lot of radar missions Contact out there. Structure, your 12 o'clock flow. One Same more side. mile. Please advise. Yeah, I know, man. We're trying. Cut the throttle. We gotta make a couple of runs, and to make things worse, we gotta keep our women alive. Ah, there's a few. Oh, they locked up to us. Climb, climb, climb. Ah, uh, you're gonna be my marker. I'm, I'm so- oh, okay. I was gonna say, did the field base just freaking disappear from my screens? I mean, granted we are pretty high up, but still. 
Well, we can't make a pass this time. I don't even see the frickin'... Okay, let's do a nose down wire for hopefully not too long. There we go. We have hostile planes closing, so we're gonna turn that speed back into altitude. Contact vehicle, your six o'clock flow. Yes, I know, amen. We really don't have a choice. <laughs> That is a little too amusing. So Raphael's going 300 some knots, 350 knots. That's uh, they're gonna have uh, drop tanks and whatnot. So Raphael's we can't get rid of. By the way. Okay, so now we are. 35 miles, let's see if we can close in now. Oh, 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 oh. S16s, climb, climb, climb. Five miles. They've disappeared from our IR. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. Tough for still keeping my wingman alive through this, because I could probably weed weave in and out of these guys, but getting my wingman to do that? Considering the super long wind-ups he has to do. Okay, he's off on the throttle. There's just no good opening. Which, again, I question, how do the Rebels have this many planes? Oh, we're losing altitude. Clock. Shit. Nine miles. Please advise. I don't know. I have mixed feelings. On the one hand, I kind of want to get far off, far out enough that I can do a proper level for my attack. But on the other hand, I also kind of want to stay close so I can strike. Like right now. Kill the throttle. We have no bandits in range. Wingman, stay on my six. We're going in for an attack run. Climb 
Okay, so those are helicopters, and I was right about that. Back out the way we came. And of course, my wingman's doing his silly profile. So for him, we're just waiting to hear the bombs away. Oh my god, wait, wait, come on. You don't need that much lead up. But yeah, this is what I was afraid of. These were spaced out just enough, so that way 2,000 pounders couldn't uh, chain them. Okay. Now he should return to us right away. Okay, we need... Oops. We need to... Keep going on our throttle here. So if he survives this pass, then we only have to make one more. And honestly, things look pretty clear, relatively speaking. Of course, I say that, and now I see fighters are tracking me, so... Beautiful! Good job, Blue 2. Fives. We've lost one of them. Come on. Okay, there we lost the F fives. Okay, let's try to lead our wingman away from. Uh, Hit 30,000 here. Preferably soonish. You should not have a lock on me. Not by your own silly game logic. Okay, we're losing them, um, losing them. Um. Different game. Wingman, more on me, and we got F-16s coming in from the west. Yeah, I think we're going to ride this one to uh, 40,000 feet, and let's hope that our wingman is somewhere near our altitude, otherwise he's going to get shredded. Can't let that happen, at least until he drops the other field tank. And those last scenes are right under us now. Alright. We're gonna turn a little harder, try to... Ow! Try to run our wingman behind those F-16s. Those damn F-5s. I don't know how they, of all planes, are getting a lock on us. Like, the Mirages, or not even the Mirages, the Raphaels, the F-16s, I can kinda see. But no, it's the frickin' F-5s. Wingman's in visual range, so that's a plus. We can in decrease our bank to 5 degrees. And now it's just a matter of waiting for the optimal time to strike. having a 
some stone on me. Now our women's just having problems catching up, so. Try to give them some help in that regard. See if we can get in on a gradual approach. I swear to God, if those F5s are pinging me again. Oh, they are! They so totally. Okay, it's not the F5s, but. I am being pinged at 10 miles. This time it's the Mirages. Okay, our wingman's in formation with us now. Will look like. Oh. 14,000 pounds. So we got enough. I would really like to finish this mission sooner rather than later, though. Especially since, if anything, I think these guys can outlast us. Let's see if we can cut in behind them now. So let's turn towards the fuel base. Half throttle with a slight incline. We should be able to cut behind these F-16s. And then as long as no one else is there, you know, kind of like... Mirages. But I think we gotta go for this one. Okay. I think we got a good shot of making it through us. Although... Mm. Oh, no, there's there's too much inbound. Then again, it's so close I can almost taste it. If only I could designate it a longer range. Behind the F-16s. I think we gotta try. Now let's try to, at least it's showing up on our designator, so... Switch to a 10 mile warning. Okay, so we have the corners left. See, we can target the frickin' tank, but then I get the tanks like right below us. Oh, it's not even in our range yet. Now we should start seeing the fuel base on our infrared here. Hopefully, I can at least designate targets, but I have no idea if I'm designating the right one. You gotta hurry because that guy's coming in. Come on. Okay, we got the fires to guide us in at least. Come on. 
Seriously, how close do you wanna? Attack structure. You're 12 o'clock low. Engaging. Alright. Let's turn that. Nope, we aren't climbing in time. Go to ground. Go to ground and head east. Commence terrain following. Full speed, getting the hell out of here. We have two patrols. Okay, we can cross over the Fayed Air Base. That sh the air defense is there. Should keep them off our back. We just gotta make it there. And then we can move on to our final destination, which actually isn't that far. We just gotta make it through four squadron defenders. Alright. Let's try to uh, sneak in behind them. So hopefully the radars won't pick us up at this short range. But they're actually awfully close to the airbase. That makes me wonder if they even put in the uh, air defenses for this mission. Because I think that's optional. Certainly they put it in for your airbase, but and for all the enemy air bases, I'm sure, and for the target, but I don't know if they pre-included the air defenses for every uh, installation. God, I'm so nervous that I'm gonna... It does look at, like things get taller here. We got M1s and M113s, so at least there's ground forces, which can presumably protect us. Let's go to 500 feet. I just, I don't want to hit anything. Okay, I, I think we've got enough for now. It's just, it's hard flying during the night, and this is easy to rip real night flying. <laughs> oh man. Those F-16s are coming around. Drop the altitude some, so hopefully we mix in with the clutter. There is an actual... S I mean, I could. Wait, is this... No. This is not our actual point. Our actual return point is 40 miles away. And the amazing part of this story is we might... Oh shit, we are... We are now very close to the ground. I think we can pop up now though. They're heading away. All right, we're we're home free. Thank God, man! What a harrowing mission. You'd think the uh, the missions at the end of the war would be easier. No, 
mean, in real life, they'd probably be easier, but, uh... Not in the video game, because, you know, we gotta increase the challenge as time goes on, not decrease it. Although there are, I mean, there's certain <laughs> wars that scale naturally enough for video games. Like, you know, if you're playing a U-boat for World War II Germany or something, like in Silent Hunter, you know, that, that scales pretty naturally because as the Germans slowly get pushed back, things become harder for them. But it uh, doesn't work so well in modern warfare, especially when you're playing as the U.S., because in theory, you're... you're um, your greatest opposition is going to be day one. And everything should be easier after that. Now, you can make the argument that there are some in certain engagements that could get harder, like, you know, in this case, the Siege of Cairo, okay, all their assets are going to be concentrated around Cairo, although they do have less assets. You know, all their, um, uh, ex all the pilots left should be more experienced because they've survived this long into the war But they shouldn't have many planes left and Instead we see oh, why did you do that? Uh, okay, so I think we're going a little too fast Man, I really hate landing the Nighthawk. I have great respect for the pilots who fly it because it doesn't fly very well by virtue of its design. Okay. I think we're on a good approach here. Maybe push the throttle a little higher. Yeah. We got a golden approach now. Welcome back. All right. Man. We made it back. Our uh, wingman made it back. One of the hardest stealth missions, certainly, but... Uh, Kinda of feels rewarding. No, we're back and all. Hey, there's one of the C5s we helped out earlier. Man, this thing has such a high landing speed. Finally rolled to the stop, we can just wait for our wingman to return. And he should be making his landing now. And here he comes. Did he manage to stop just a little before taxi way though. I think if I had waited this stuff, well I think the, this is another case where the AI cheats and it can immediately drop its uh, speed to zero. And certainly if we were using the autopilot I think we'd see that too. And he's going to take off again because he's a moron. Debrief. Kippert Air Base date October 2nd. Mission fuel for the fire resolution success. Nice work penetrating the enemy air defenses and taking out those fuel tanks. No damage on either of us. Our in-game time was over an hour. That's how long we spent circling around looking for good passes, but we both took out two fuel tanks. Wingman took out more fuel trucks, that's fine. You can have them, don't much care. Both our bombs obviously hit. Really nothing more to say about that, so let's do maintenance on our Nighthawk. And with that, that concludes today's mission. So thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for next time, and we'll see you then.